MakerCon has kicked off. We've been here a couple hours now, and this, this display here on our floor has been drawing some crowds. And we're going to find out what it's all about and what's going on here. We've got these two gentlemen here. Tell me who you are and who you're with. I am Parmender. I am the founder and CEO of this company, RoboDub. And this is John. He's from Intel. Uh, John Marshall. I'm a, actually a maker. I'm an engineer and uh, I work in our events and that's why we're helping them uh, with the setups here today. So tell me what we're looking at behind you here. I see some rubble and some cars. Tell us what these are and what they do. So what we at RoboDub are creating new category of live action gaming using robots and drones. So what you see here is there are two robots and two players can control them. So the idea is two players with PS4 controller, they will control this two robot in this course and there's an IR emitter, uh, there's a gun on it, which is called, it's not a gun, it's just IR emitter. Idea is to engage the opponent and actually shoot at him, quote unquote, shoot at him. And, and the score for each player would be actually displayed on TV, which we will turn it on in, in just a second. So you've got a zapper on each one yes. that can disable the other one? What happens if they get, if they get hit? you got a lives on it if you lose after five lives then you're out of the game basically. so it's just like a real life version of this video game called world of tanks cars guns and video games we just mash them together that's what we are doing here at Robotech. that's fantastic so tell me what's inside those cars oh yes all the brain of both those rambots we call them rambots is controlled by edison that's why intel is here and uh, it has got bluetooth connectivity you see that I'm controlling it with Bluetooth by PS4 controller, which is for video games. And uh, it's got a Wi-Fi connectivity. So how did you build the outside of the car? Some of this looks like maybe it's 3D printed. What's yeah. what's going on with the structure of the car here? It's all 3D printed. It's all 3D, it's all 3D printed. It looks like a, a fully finished product with the, the 3D printing process. It took 42 hours. It's like a one full unit and uh, very intricate. We worked with a very smart uh, designer. His name is Trevor. Very nice, very nice. And I see Intel on the sides of these. What do you guys, what do you guys think about this project or how, and how you're seeing the, uh, was it the Galileo being used? Edison. The Edison, Edison. Edison. And how do, what do you, how do you feel about that being used in these? Do you like what you're seeing? I, I think it's fantastic. I mean, this is a perfect example of usage of Edison in the case of Bluetooth, uh, we also have the Wi-Fi, and, and they're and actually, the and the robot, yeah, and they're taking advantage of it. They're using the, the multi-processor capabilities of the dual cores. They're, they're taking advantage of all, of all the I.O. The response is just phenomenal. Where can somebody learn more about this project? Somebody who couldn't make it to this event, where can they learn more about this? Uh, you can follow us at Robodub Inc., and uh, you can go to our website, robodub.com and uh, at, at that, those are the best venues at this point to follow like what are the new things we want to actually add to this uh, particular game. You know? This really is cool and I've been enjoying watching this walking around again that's robodub.com yes, Robodub. uh, really cool I'm very curious to see Please follow us at, at Robodub Inc. very nice very nice well thank you very much for talking to us I want to see these things in action now yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs>